so we spent a night in Kanamala with Uncle Dave. And um, it was really cool talking to him because he kind of gave us our first introduction actually out on the trip on Muramura on you know what it's like to be involved with uh, obtaining and maintaining that property. And so one of the things he talked about around Muramura was whether or not to maintain the homestead that's out there. And there's this really beautiful old house that's out there. You know, it's um, a two-story, a huge veranda, all these bedrooms, all this old, uh, you know, kind of Victorian, you know, woodwork and ironwork and stuff on it. And so traditionally to my eye, as the daughter of an architectural historian, it's always about trying to conserve buildings, save buildings. Um, but Uncle Dave was talking about how they, that homestead is really a symbol of the oppression of his family and his community, his, his people. And uh, so, and it's also a huge uh, money sink when they could be doing a lot of other things with those resources. And then he was talking about what the families are deciding to do with the property. And one of the questions has been, well, should we run a tourist operation, either an ecotourism or a caravan park or things like that? And uh, he was saying he really would prefer not to do that because there's it will just perpetuate the history of black fellas kind of cleaning up after white fellas and and uh i i really connected with you know that reason for making that kind of a choice you know i could follow his uh feelings about that and i thought well gosh that makes a lot of sense um you know it's just a tough set of choices to have to make and and really different set of considerations um that he would have as opposed to you know, what I might be thinking about if I were in that position.